In 1863, a legend was born in Sandy Cove, Nova Scotia. That year, a strange man literally washed ashore. He was alive, but in a terrible state. Despite the community's many questions, it wasn't able to learn anything about the man, not even his name. Now, as Tom Murphy reports, new research has finally uncovered some answers. From these shores so serene comes a tale so troubling. People here have been talking about it for almost a century and a half. Well, this is the rock where my family said they found the legless man. A well-dressed man with no legs but alive, washed ashore here with little more than some bread to eat. No wonder the locals' imaginations went wild. It was a pirate ship that had dropped him off and he had committed some sort of a weird crime and they dropped his, you know, chopped his legs off or something like that. His story all the more mysterious because he was also mute, though others gave his tale a voice on stage and screen. They called him Jerome, gave him shelter and care in various homes. He's still part of the folklore of this place, but his secret... Who was he? Where did he come from? Always remained locked inside him. A mystery more than anything he yes. was. Now this mystery may be almost solved. A federally funded research group has shed new light on Jerome's life. But not everyone is pleased with the findings. It's like telling an eight-year-old that Santa Claus doesn't exist. Lise Robichaud and her Queen's University research colleague found a less romantic version of events. They found new evidence that Jerome was likely from northern Italy, that he sailed to northeastern New Brunswick, where he jumped ship and nearly froze to death in the woods. At this surgeon's home in Gagetown, his legs were surgically removed to save his life. Unfortunately, it was starting to cost too much for his upkeep. The community saved enough money to send Jerome back to Europe. Instead, the hired help stole the money and dumped Jerome in Nova Scotia. My mother's uncle took care of him. The research also revealed evidence Jerome was treated as a circus act and was often put on display at his home. People would gather after Sunday Mass so that they could simply look at Jerome and have a glimpse at this mysterious figure. Never. I yeah. never, never heard that. No. I it's kind of insulting because we're not, we're not like that. Jerome does have a place of honor in the graveyard here, but the inscription may have to be changed. Researchers say they're close to finding out Jerome's real name too, although they admit they may never entirely solve the mystery of Jerome. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Sandy Cove, Nova Scotia.